I'm moving too fast, let me know. I'll be stationary at the moment. This is Jerry. He was one of the more interesting aspects of Whidbey Island. We are going to get to know Jerry over the next half hour for an interview. Right now he is making chicken. So Jerry, what is your opinion of the uh, priorities of the government towards ed education? Uh, well, my, my first priority is making fried chicken. So I have to think about what you've asked me. What is my opinion of the government's priorities? I think Here it is. I think education exists for three reasons. We have public education so as to provide a common foundation for the culture of our society. Everybody goes through the same public education system and while they go through that public education system they're doing the Pledge of Allegiance, and they're doing uh, God Bless America, and they're getting George Washington's birthday, and Abraham Lincoln's birthday, not President's Day, on a weekend. So make sure it's President's Day is on a Monday, so we can have a three-day weekend and get out in our Winnebago's, which we don't do anymore because it's five bucks a gallon. Um, but anyway, it's to... Number one, give us all commonalities. Number two, the job of a public education system is to provide a society within which the cream can rise to the top. There's only so many that can become doctors. There's only so many that can become skilled backhoe operators. There's only so many that can become good at what they do. And a broad public education system allows for everyone to have the same opportunity and I know you're going to say, well, poverty area, this and that and the other. I understand all of that. That's not the issue at this time. The issue is, why public education? First reason, commonality through culture. Second reason, to provide a broad enough education system that gives everyone a shot at reaching their ability levels and their interest levels. Maybe someone could be the world's fastest jet pilot, but really wants to be a farmer, good for him, farm the land, go slow behind the plow, who cares? The issue is each person coming to their own. And lastly, the job of public education system is to provide a degree of babysitting service to allow parents, when we have parents staying at home raising the kids, to allow them to get a break, number one. Number two, to uh, the, the stay-at-home system was to allow, uh, uh, I, I mean, the public school is, is a babysitting service. We provide that service now so that working people have someone to take care of the kid in a safe environment. This would lead to the question somewhere down the road of this public education a safe environment. But this is basically how I see public education. Now, how does the government see about public education? I don't think there are many in government that agree with me. I don't think they think along the same lines. It doesn't make them bad, ignorant, or even evil. What it does is I don't think they agree with me because I don't think they've thought about what is the role of public education. And as a commercial once stated, coffee maker John Arbuckle made it clear, you get what you pay for. If you don't pay attention as to why that system exists, it becomes non-existent. It becomes a manipulated and empty words on a piece of paper that don't mean anything because the actions don't back it up. The actions, money is not what's needed in public education. A common purpose it is. Individual state scores and you got to do this so you can pass that. They're ridiculous. They're ridiculous. When a kid reaches the end of high school, he takes a class of this last semester in the 12th grade in which it's a 
he has to write his adios letter. This paper is meant to demonstrate the accumulated skills of 12 years of public education in communicating to you what these 12 years have done for me and what I plan to do, which is none of your business, but I'll tell you what some of my thoughts are. And if he can communicate that and answer questions reasonably and know how to use resources to find answers, what else do you want? What else are you looking for? What else could it possibly be besides the telephone ringing? Let me get the telephone, please.